So pitch number one of game number two is a fastball high and away from Carter Holton. Payoff pitch to batter number one. He loses Wimmer to a walk after jumping ahead in the count. Commodores employ the shift with a lefty at the plate. Called third strike. He gets Brewer looking for out number one. Down the third base line. That's a fair ball out of the reach of Diaz headed toward the left field corner. Wimmer will be waved to the plate. Polk had a little difficulty getting to the ball. Wimmer scores all the way from first and South Carolina more two out damage to lead one nothing. Yeah, you mentioned Kevin Polk having a little bit of trouble in left field, but looked like a fastball kind of ran over the middle of the plate and shoots it down there. Down in that left field corner, there's only you know three or four feet of space in foul territory, so the ball can kind of rattle between. It's ball four to Casas. The inning will continue for Talmadge Lecroy. Needs a strike to avoid loading the bases. Can't get it. That's ball four. Back to back walks. 2 2. Line drive right field. It's down in front of Shrek. One run scores. A throw to the plate. And it's going to be safe. As Casas was able to get in there, he avoided the tag initially by Bulger. And then jump back, touch the plate to get the run. It's 3 0 South Carolina. A two RBI single by Michael Braswell. All the runs scoring with two outs. A two RBI single by Michael Braswell as he went the other way, and that pitch hit him on the foot. Another run will come in. Hit Batsman, and Stone gets an RBI. It's 4 0. Pitch to Wimmer at the plate for the second time this inning. Bounce to third. Diaz gets the out at second. Five to four. But South Carolina scores four runs. Get that back in their dugout. Bradfield opposite way down the left field line. A good start. Extra bases for number 51 as he has a double on the first pitch. Looks like he might have went around. He did. It's strike three, and Diaz is out number one. No batting gloves for Bolger. Bradfield takes off on 0 and 2. It's strike three. So no steal for Enrique. Instead, it's the third out. Two Ks for Jack Mahoney in the first. Another payoff from Carter missed this time. So good at bat by Brewer. He worked the count. Second in home runs, second in RBIs. Skips off the mound. Could be two. It's Austin. It's Vastine. And it's no one. 4 6 3 double play. Hey, okay, walk the leadoff guy and see if he stays with the hard stuff. He did. Peel to first. He went. Grayson Carter, three up. Well, face three anyway. Opposite way. Good play by Nolan. Race to the bag. He got there for out number three. Put a star next to that one. Saved extra bases through the first 13 conference games. Foul tip into the mid of French, one out. Payoff pitch with one out. Bouncer to the right side. Race to the bag, out. Messina able to get the ball, get back to the base. As Mahoney tries to wrap up the third. Smash back up the middle off the glove of Braswell. And Diaz is aboard with two outs. Fly ball, deep center field, Stone to the track, to the wall, it's gone! R.J. Shrek cuts the lead in half for South Carolina with a two-run homer. Hey, knew this Vandy offense was going to get going, you just didn't know at what point they were. R.J. Shrek being the guy just getting a little lightning bolt and cutting that lead by two. And yeah, Kevin, you made a good point. I mean, that play at first base, that could have been three runs, but nonetheless, fastball left up a little bit. R.J. Shrek, heck of a swing. Two outs, called out on strikes his first time up. He smashes one to deep left center field. Commodores within a run, back-to-back -back jacks. First Shrek, and now Bolger. Yeah, that was a no doubter right there from Bulger. Holy cow. For Bulger, home run number four, RBI 22. Oh, the liner. We saw the big towering home run from Shrek, and this one just tattooed. Another fastball elevated, great swing. The Commodore is making a run at this. 
gentleman with a beverage in one hand trying to make the catch. Austin chases on a slider away to end the inning. Packed house here at Hawkins Field for game two of this top 10 series. Riley off to a good start as he fans French on another fastball. Riley called third strike. Back to back K's as he fans Stone, two outs. Various ways to cause difficulty, including getting on base with a walk. That's strike three. Patrick Riley, three hitters and three strikeouts. Down the right field line. That's down for a base hit for Vastine. He's going to try to get more than one as he motors into second with his 12th double of 2023. And Vanderbilt has the tying run in scoring position to start the fifth. Mahoney, ball four. Runners at first and second for Diaz. Bunt on the left side. Only play will be to first. Diaz does the job. He advances the runners 90 feet. A successful sacrifice as Bradfield goes to second and Bastine to third. Behind in the cow, one and two. Goes to the backstop. Tying run coming down. This game's tied as Bastine slides in safely on the wild pitch. It's four to four. Another payoff. And that one got Shrek. High and inside. On the move, Shrek, it's ball four. Didn't go. The bases are loaded as Bulger works a walk for R.J. Austin. Fly ball, deep left center field, to the track, to the wall. It's off the fence, or was it caught? I think it was caught. Stone got up there and made a play. Bradfield had come in to score, South Carolina. They signaled safe at third. It's unclear what exactly the call is. It's difficult to tell if Stone is able to make the play. Mass There's a lot confusion. of confusion, no <laughs> question about confusion. it, as to who is safer out here. But no doubt an unbelievable play by Stone. Well, I don't know, that ball hit the fence or did he deflect it to himself? Well, 5-4 is the score officially. Vanderbilt leads South Carolina. It was this play, R.J. Austin with the ball hit to the wall in center field. It was ruled a single after the, the review. He was out at first and then R.J. Shrek was out at third on a force play. Bradfield's run does count on the play. So after all that, Vanderbilt does get the run in the end. But South Carolina recorded two outs to end the inning. Meanwhile, it's a four pitch walk to Lee Croy to start the six for South Carolina. Get a split of the first two out in front. Braswell gone on strikes. A heck of a slider there from, from Riley. Wide open on the right side for French. Swung on and missed. Riley makes another pitch. Swung on and missed. Stone is out on strikes. Three straight. Third pitcher used. Big bouncer to the left side. The throw is offline as Messina came off the base. Maldonado safe at first. The Cobblers start the sixth. A good look at it right there. Back up the middle, might be two. Wimmer taps the bag and throws to first. A 6-3 double play erases the base runner, Maldonado. Two outs. Over to third. Lee Croy, a second error of this sixth inning. As Polk reaches, and the inning will continue for Jonathan Bastine. Two in the fifth. Fly ball left center field. Maybe an easier play for Stone this time. Makes the catch on the warning track. And a scratch in their head trying to figure out what happened. Opposite way, Brewer has a single with one out in the seven. That is the first hit allowed by Patrick Riley. He had, Riley tries to keep him close. Fly ball towards track and right. Toward the line, toward the wall. He flips into the South Carolina bullpen. Did he catch that he ball? He did, he got it. He made the play. <laughs> RJ Shrek <laughs> ends up in the bullpen. Unbelievable. The Commodore right fielder disappeared from view. Started to creep up there. Hits this one left side. Cut off by Lee Croy. And safe at first. Lee Croy having a tough day at third base. His throw drew Messina off the bag. Good lead at first base by Diaz. Shrek takes ball four. Vanderbilt. With a one out threat in the seventh. 5 4 lead, pivotal game as we play here in the seventh. Base hit left side. They'll send Diaz to the plate. Here comes the throw, sliding in safe. 
Another RBI for Bulger as he brings home Diaz to make it six to four. A solid swing there from Bulger. Gets a pitch to hit. Slaps it right to the right of Wimmer and Tim Corbin. From the get-go, sends Diaz from second base. He got a good secondary. Yeah, Brewer, the left fielder, has got a pretty good arm. This is a well-thrown ball. But a lot of credit to Diaz for getting a really good secondary and hustling around third base. Now the runners go. They'll throw down to second. Everybody safe. A double steal. A Shrek goes to third, and Bulger takes second. Say, hey, we're combined at eight for eight. Right side with the infield in. The first baseman gets to it. Flip safe. Run scores. Austin beat it out at first. Shrek comes across. It's seven to four. If Messina is playing in his normal spot, that's an easy play, but he was playing way over to the left in that four hole. And a heck of a job by R.J. Austin just hustling down the line. And he's just putting the ball in play. Flips it over. And Messina's momentum just carried him too far to be able to reverse course and get back to the base. Very close play. Fly ball center field will likely get another run home as Stone moves over and in to make the catch. Bulger tags and scores. Three spot in the seventh to make it eight to four. Maldonado does the job with a sack fly. A great piece of hitting. All he had to do get something elevated, put it in the outfield, and saw Chris Maldonado there a moment ago. Now they have Austin picked off. The rundown is on. And there's the tag to retire the side. Get it into a spot where you get Petri to the plate in the ninth inning. Smash to third, glove by Diaz, two gone. A little tighter. Swung on and missed. Went to the heater, threw it past him in 95. Three up, three down for South Carolina. Strike three to Bastine. Proctor sits down Vanderbilt in order in the eighth inning. And hitter Horning takes strike three. Slider sits him down, one out. Behind of the count, Maldonado as Spulger completes the strikeout. Braylon Wimmer, fly ball, center field. Bradfield tracking back toward the fence. And it is gone. Home run for Wimmer, his first hit of the series. That's the first run allowed by Vanderbilt's relief core today. They had gone eight innings, keeping South Carolina off the scoreboard, but Wimmer goes yard to make it eight to five. That's why those four runs from the Commodore is so important. A pretty good pitch. He just went down and got it. So that's three opposite field home runs we've seen. One, two. Went around, tag applied, series even as Vanderbilt wins game two, eight to five.